course, yes. So my name's Juliana um, and I've been working with Joe from Spark Properties um, for, oh, I don't know the timing. Maybe it's been two months, something like that. Surprise, surprise, it's ended up being like a dream, a dream location and a dream home that I did not think I would come across in today's market. Um, it's a, a gorgeous home that basically has got um, the woman that has owned it has been running a business from there. Nothing like my business that I will, will, will be running, but the layout is just absolutely like perfect. Um, there's obviously got to be a bit of money I need to spend to just make it what I need it to be, but absolutely like as soon as I turned up there I was like wow okay um I thought I had that here where I am but I don't um so for me that was one of my big things with Joe I had stipulated um that I work from home and I have a specific type of business and it needs to be separate from my home which it hasn't been where I've been living and I've put a lot of money into here and thought this was it but it obviously wasn't and also she found me one of another major point, which was I was very keen to, I, I very much felt I needed to be in an area that has a village atmosphere, um, to be part of a community and to be able to work being part of a community. Um, walking distance, um, you know, no more than 10 minutes driving. She's got, found me something six minutes driving. Um, I just can't, I mean, the boxes that I had ticked, um, hesitantly because I thought, well, she's not going to get all these boxes because it's not really possible. And, and, um, obviously having started looking on my own previously to, to meeting her and realizing I needed help, um, it just blew my mind away. So she's literally covered those boxes and even more. In this market today that we are in, I was looking at the worst possible market you could look at, which was the Byron Bay area, which I came from, um, became very, yeah, what you're needing and what you're actually wanting, you can find elsewhere. Like there's, that's not the only place that has those qualities, but even more so it's, it's got more to it. So yeah, so it, it's got, it's, it's great for the family. It's, it's great in that I'm trying to get back to the earth, which I've had here and veggie garden and, and fruit trees and this whole way of new way of living that we're all hopefully steering towards because of what's been happening on the planet. Um, so really I just am blown away by how she's accomplished that. And she was able to, direct me, literally hold my hand to go down that path where I was so opposed and I'm like, no, this is where I want to be. This is it. This, uh, there's no other, you know, not looking outside this square. I was not grounded at all. I was probably in a very emotional state. I've had a lot of things going on, family, blah, blah, blah. Um, a lot of stuff happening in the background, which was pulling me in different directions as well. So I was very not sure um, and then also, not just that, but also the fact that the market today is like I had sold my house and I'd gotten good money, but it's like I've sold it. And then it's like, holy hell, with the money I've gotten, what am I going to get? Like, I can't buy where I, where I really wanted to buy, which was the reason why I sold. So it became a real challenge. And I was actually told about Joe. By my cousin and she could see I was ringing her every like day two three times a day like you know probably hysteric or whatever going oh my god what am I going to do I sold I'm going to be out in you know months and blah 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 have no direction I don't know what I'm doing and and she's like you need to speak to Joe. Well, simple as that I'm like why who's Joe? and then she 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 then progressed in telling me who she was and what she does how she works and I thought, you're right, that's the type of woman I need to be talking with and allowing to work alongside me. Because also being a single woman on your own, 
it's hard work. You know, you have a partner, um, you have them to offload to, you have them that, you know, you, you have decisions you make together. When you're on your own, you're on your own and you're like, you know, you, who do you talk to? The wall? Like my kids are, my kids are, you know, got their own stuff. They, you know, like guidance that you have when you're in a partnership. So for me, she be, literally became that and she was very supportive and, and um, yeah. So very, very much like driving, getting in the car, driving for four hours, you know, looking in this area, trying to find, maybe going, okay, maybe I'll go half an hour out from this area, maybe I'll go here, but then, you know, the price has gone up here, it hasn't gone up there, but then I don't really want to be there. So it was this, and that's how my mind was working. It was just all very everywhere. So it was very hard to focus on one thing and and um, be very clear that, I was going to actually buy where I should be buying and I was going to make the best decision with my money. Plus also my business is involved. So it's like, you don't want to, when you are running a business from home or you're setting yourself up, you don't want to be in an area where you go, okay, it's it, 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 one year's time. It doesn't work two years time. You got to pull yourself up and you got to start all over again. It's not like I'm 30 anymore. So that was, you know, um, going through my mind as well. So, I did feel I got to a point where I was feeling very lost and like I'm, I'm driving everywhere up and down the east coast of bloody Australia and it's like I, I just couldn't you know so then it was like my cousin help I need guidance I need help she realized it was out of her hands you know and I'm like going I'm putting it on to someone else but her just even mentioning that there is someone because I didn't really even know what about it. I mean what's a buyer's agent I, what what is that like, you know, I had no idea people even pay people to do that. Um, I then realized that on my own, it would have been a really massive struggle and I just wasn't getting anywhere. It was almost like I was just hitting my head against a brick wall and getting really frustrated and, and hours of traveling and losing time for work. And, and, you know, it was just almost like I was just really scattered and I just couldn't really come back and focus on okay let's let's develop let's make a plan here on how this is how we can make this work and make the best of shit decisions um yeah what actually it is what is it that you want write it down like tell me what it is you want and where you think it it, it is you want to be and then let's let's make a plan around that and I would start with, okay, oh, I really want to be here, but this is frustrating me and I don't know if it's good. So maybe I'll look here and then maybe I'll look over here, which is like, whoa, 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 pulls it back in. And she'd be like, no, let's look at one. So let's, let's tick the boxes in this place, space. So we checked out fine. We did that area I was looking, really thought I wanted. And when I looked at what I could achieve and get and that I'd already been there and I've lived there and it's like, oh my God, why am I going back there? So it was this whole thing. Um, it's like, and then she weighed up, well, you could still buy there, but you'd be buying less of a property. You'd be getting less for your money, but you'd be in the area you want. So you've got to look at the pros and cons in all these different avenues, not just buying for hearsay because you want to be there. It's like, you know, so um, we, we went through that whole process and at the end when we'd even put a few offers in for the area and they were coming back like, you know, a couple of hundred over or you'd go and look somewhere and the properties were selling, had six buyers looking, whatever. Even though it was a monetary thing as well, I could have ended up buying there, but she made me see like, you can afford something here. You can buy something here. You can get something in town. It's going, but it's going to be this. So then you've got to sacrifice. Okay. You can't work from home. You can't do what you want to do. But blah, 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 blah. So it was a whole thing of where she opened up the different avenues, but like, there's more than one reason of why you buy somewhere in a, in a, why you go, would you move to, to a place? There's not just one or two reasons. There's a multitude that come together that make it the perfect. Very straightforward. Like there were times that I perhaps was, I was, you know, getting a bit misdirected and lost or a bit like, oh, but I said this, that's what I wanted. But then, oh, look, I'll put up with this. 
And she would go, but that's not what you said you wanted. This is what you need your home for. So let's stick to that. Don't go off track. Um, so she would keep guiding me back. So she's very, she's very strong in that with her direction and her intention. And once she knows what you want, she won't allow you to sidetrack away from that, no matter what. So I'm going, but I can't afford that. She's like, yeah, but we could do it this way or let's go. You want the community, you want this, you want a property from home, you want to be in nature, this and that. Well, let's, let's look at this. You know, and um, I don't think many people have the art of doing that. Plus also she's very like, when she felt that I wasn't opening up and expressing myself fully, she would say, okay, what's going on? No, she just had a way of like gaining your trust so that you could really open up and just, you know, delve deeper because I think it's such a personal thing and I never realized this before. We, I've obviously never dealt with anyone other than if, when I had a partner on buying a property. But um, uh, it's, a very, it's a very emotional time and it's a very, what's the word? Uh, it's almost like if you've got a lot of things going on, which you usually do when you're selling, and you're not coming out and being forward or honest or truthful about what's happening and what's going on and why you want to move to where you, whatever. So there's a multitude going on, um, but you put up barriers and this can stop you reaching, you know, that, that perfect home, basically that perfect property for yourself. Well, she was basically delving deep and she's basically even giving me therapy, whatever, however you want to put it. So that I could just, unfold everything out put it all on the table and then go okay okay I see what I'm doing and I see how I keep putting barriers up to find that what I, I really want and I keep putting barriers up to maybe just sit, settle with second best so she's got a really good way of working with people like that and and she's very like you know if I was going down the long path she would just be like Jules like Juliana come back like sis, remember this is where you want this is what you want so let's let's just look over here let's leave that now let's do one thing at a time let's look at one area at a time whereas I'd be like oh let me look here let me look there and then I can look there she's like let's just tick the boxes one area at a time tick that box done um and there was a point I got really scattered and I was like oh god I don't know what I'm doing blah 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 and she's just like let's just pull back just one thing at a time once we go through these couple of properties, if they're no good, we will then start looking elsewhere, elsewhere. Whereas I would be going trying to look at 50 properties at once and 10 different areas. She just would simplify it and go, no, it doesn't work that way. Let's just calm down. Let's just do this. Tick these boxes. If they don't tick, if they, they're not the one, let's move on. I just, I feel so blessed. Like, I can't believe I've gotten a property. I couldn't afford all the other properties in the area I was looking at. And I'm in a much more beautiful area. It's exactly what I want. And all the boxes are ticked and I have money left in the bank. So I can now renovate and add my touch to it. Not, it doesn't need a lot, but it's like, yeah, I just, just absolutely, I didn't expect to find something like this. And it's funny because for the last three years, I think I had had people, a lot of people saying you should go to the area where I'm buying, which is Melania. I've had a lot of people saying your business would do great there. You would, you know, you'd really fit in, and that's where she's found the property, and that's where I'm going. Absolutely. I mean, and then my other concern was the money. I'm like, oh wow, you know, yeah, you know, I could just look on realestate.com and do my own thing. Well, yeah, I did that, but like, she saved me. Like, she's bought down the price. Of, this property on purchase, $120,000. I don't know if I should mention it, but she has saved me that much money. And they were fighting to get that money. And she would, she was like, we're sticking with this, Jules. This is, this is this what I believe it's worth. We are not going above what they want. And we nearly, I, you know, we nearly walked away from it and I was prepared to, but they came and met her exactly with everything she said. So I was just like sitting there going, well, I couldn't have done that you know, I just wouldn't have been able to do that. So, and again, it's where she just um, 
she obviously knows what she's doing, but she believes in something, she will just stick to it. And yeah, that's that's why you pay her. I mean, it's definitely worth it. I don't, you know, I've saved so much money by having her help me and not to mention running around and being like literally lost on where to go and where to buy. So I'm very grateful and I would recommend her to anybody, anybody purchasing at all. So oh, Joe, you're amazing. You're an angel. You're the real estate angel. <laughs> um, no, I just thank you so much. And I really hope that one day she comes and visits. I know she will. She'll come and check my place out. Um, I just feel, I'm just so happy that I listened to my cousin and took it on because I was a bit like hesitant. Um, and probably the reason I did more, more so than not was because I was feeling like lost and going, oh my God, I'm like, it's like just too overwhelming. But even so now, even in the future, if I didn't feel like that, just knowing, I mean, even with the auctions, for example, a couple of these properties were going for auction. I'm like, I don't do auctions. I don't go and look at anything that goes for auction. I go near auctions. I see them. I just look at something else, no matter how much I like them. Um, and she's, she's, that's what she does. That's her specialty. So there's so many reasons why, yeah, I would get her again if I was ever to buy again. Though I don't know if I would because this is so perfect for me. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend her. Even if you think you know that you can just, you know, go on the internet and look and go and look at properties. There's so much more to it. There's the bidding, there's the betting, there's the, you know, valuing. She even helped me with finding a removal. Like she was just there the whole way, the journey, the whole way right up to the end finding removalist and um, ticking the last boxes.